uh, my local Linux user group that I was quite active in at the mm -hmm. time, we would get together once a month and help each other out, you know, resolve problems in installing software or installing a distro, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And when Ubuntu came along, it made that whole thing a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And I think Ubuntu is one of the reasons why some of the Linux user groups in the UK, at least, mm -hmm. died out because there was a less need for them because right. they kind of solved that problem of getting the software on your computer. There's still a whole load of other things you need to do, but actually getting the distro, the fact that you could um, ask for a CD to be sent to you in the post. Mm, from the CDs, yeah. Ship it. yeah, ship it service. I used to have hundreds of them in the boot of my car, like a big cardboard box full of Ubuntu CDs. Mm -hmm. And I'd take them around and give them out to people. And um yeah, I remember giving giving them out at um, Software Freedom Day, uh, ah. which I think is in September sometime. I was in central London walking around with some friends, and we all had piles of these Ubuntu CDs. <laughs> and there was a big red London bus stopped at the traffic lights. And uh, we went up to the driver <laughs> and handed him, because he was a captive audience, he couldn't <laughs> go anywhere. He's at the traffic sure. light. So we handed him a CD. And he's like, uh, oh, is this that uh, Linux thing? And uh, we were like, yes, it is. And he was like, oh, great. Thanks very much. I was like, random bus driver knows what Linux is. Was, um, it was quite eye-opening for mm -hmm. me. You know, I thought it was just for us sheltered nerds in our basements. So sadly, the, uh, the ship at service ended with, I'm looking at it now, 11.04. So a lot of people yeah. probably just weren't even using Linux without ever existing. Like, that's a long time ago now. It's 12 years ago. Um, yeah. I, I certainly wasn't using Linux back then. I was very oh, much really? in. No, I, I've only been using Linux for like four or five years. Um, it was it was interesting. And, and I know there were complaints from other distros. I mean, when you think Ubuntu started from zero in 2004, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people were using Debian at the time, um, or Fedora, or Mandrake, Mandriva, that kind of stuff, right? There was a lot of distros, and everyone was scattered um mm. across all the users were scattered across those distros and when the ship it service started mm -hmm. it was really um a, a, a blow to a lot of other distros because nobody else could do this right mm -hmm. you've got this multi-millionaire throwing money yeah. at well, Ubuntu. That, i was gonna say that it's not really like ubuntu started from zero because you did have mark running the distro so it's it's a bit different than just some like random person starting Ubuntu. If that was the case, like you know, it it would have never become what it is today. Maybe, maybe it would, but like it certainly wouldn't yeah. have had that head start it had. Yeah, what I mean by zero is you know before two thousand and four there was zero Ubuntu users. Oh, sure, sure, sure. It didn't yeah. exist, right? No, yeah, um, fair enough. And but yeah, the curve, the adoption curve was probably sharper upwards for Ubuntu than it was for anything else. And yes, having Mark. You know, throwing his, I think someone from Mandriva called it his magic box of shiny coins. Um, <laughs> <at> the, <laughs> I remember that that phrase on someone's blog post, uh -huh. like talking about how Ubuntu is crushing all the other distros mm -hmm. in terms of adoption because of Mark's magic box of shiny coins. And it's true. You know, he, he could fund um, developer summits. So mm -hmm. every six months, you know, we would all get together including people from the community and all the canonical employees would get together and work on Ubuntu and plan mm -hmm. the next release. And there was stuff that just, yeah, okay, Red Hat had a lot of money, yeah. but they spent it in different ways, right? Yeah. 